Yes, that's been our biggest talk about, you know, we, we had not put together complete games and and uh, and I do think we played a, a complete game against Norfolk State. I thought it was, uh, and what I mean by that, it's not just the effort uh, defensively, but trying to get, we got to continue to get better, but trying to get guys to be confident and take their shots. And tonight, the biggest thing was uh, the communication. I, th I thought our guys really communicated extremely well, um, without question, to the best we've played against, uh, you know, I said coming in, you know, Chris Beard's one of the best in the business and has done a, just a ter ter terrific job in a short time there. And and uh, we were, again, we were at our best. And, uh, and I'm proud of the effort. The guys, I thought defensively, they really worked at it. Uh, and, and the thing that I'm most pleased is that when we missed shots early, guys kept taking them because that's where we had bogged down and, that's the one thing, again, talking about the confidence, getting these guys confident that they'll continue to shoot the ball when they're uh, open. And uh, if we do that, uh, it will help us to move forward. Go Ryan, Ben, Mike, Reese, Grant. What made the pick and roll with Sakai and Jonas so effective tonight? Well, I think a lot of teams play uh, personnel. And, you know, you think about it, we, we can spread people out with our, our – if, if we'll shoot it. If, we, if people know we're going to shoot it because I think that – We've got enough guys on the team that have proven that if they get good looks at it, they, they can make shots. And obviously, uh, that was one reason getting it spread out that way. And uh, I thought Zakai really is he's getting so much better uh, in, in, in ball screens. He's getting better at uh, getting rid of it, filling the game, and making good passes. And our post guys were getting off of it better. But uh, it's just the fact that. There's no doubt that I, I do think that people respect the fact that we've got some guys that can shoot the ball. Rick, with Jonas tonight, I, I know you always need Jonas to produce, but specifically tonight against their length, just how important was, was his performance? I thought Jonas fought physically, too. I mean, um, he did. I, I, again, we had talked about it. He and I had a long talk the other day after practice, and I just told him how good I thought he was, you know, and I said, Jonas, you're, not, you, you, you're so much better than you're playing, and I said, I, I think you're as good as anybody if you're willing to do what you need to do day in and day out, and, 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 I, and I believe it uh, because, you know, Jonas is a, just a wonderful person, great kid, love being around him. Uh, I, I told him, I said, I, I've got really high expectations for you, and, and I could say the same about Tobey and JP and Kay, but uh, – I just he he was really focused yesterday in practice. I thought he really and defensively, I thought he worked at it trying to get up there because they they do a good job in their ball screen. Uh, they're they're not an easy team to guard with their movement and and uh, so. Uh, but it wasn't just what he did with scoring, but you know rebounding. But I thought it was him really trying to escort his man up to the screen and trying to make plays up there. You've said similar things about Jonas a few times. You know, trying to get him to believe in how good he is. Why is that message just now starting to set in? What's it going to look like going for you guys? Well, well, first of all, and, and I, I will tell you, I told him this. It's hard to play this game the right way day in and day out. It, I mean, but where he wants to go, you, you've got to do that. And uh, and, and I think he does. And, and uh, But it's hard. I mean, what, what we ask these guys to do day in and day out and what, how, we're, how we've tried to build this team, it's hard. Uh, I think uh, in the locker room after the game tonight, I asked our younger guys, I said, you guys didn't play. At some point in time this year, we're going to need you. But what did you learn from this game? And they all had a comment about, you know, how hard physical it was. They talked about how you have to sustain play and and uh, can't let up. And, uh, and once those guys continue to do that, they're going to help us, those young guys. But I think I go back to Jonas, it's the same thing, knowing how hard it is night in and night out. And when you put up numbers like this, it gets harder. But that's what makes you get better. That's what sharpens you. The, you know, talking about iron sharpening iron, when you get good and people come at you every night, you either embrace that challenge or you're going to take one step forward, two steps back. Coaching back here, how much confidence have you seen in the Well, I've said many times, and, and I, you know, I've spent, a, and I tell Shaq this all the time, I, I have invested a lot of time in him because I, I love him to death. And, you know, uh, he, he's, he totally has remade his shot, spent time doing it. He's got to continue. He's, he's still not there with it. But 
with that said, I've also told him, you don't have to make a shot. I, you're an elite defender if you want to do that. That's, that's got to be your calling card. And I actually said to him last night in front of the team, I said, now, hey, now we better know what we're good at. You better know what your role is on this team. And he came in, and when he's open and, and has rhythm, we want him to shoot the ball. And, uh, uh, we, and when he plays under control, when he drives the ball, he makes good, it's when he gets sped up. And 99% uh, and, and of the time, he speeds himself up. It's not, it's not the d defense, but uh, uh, he, he, he's going out there. And um, he, again, he knows, uh, and you guys have watched practice, you know that you guys know I'm, I'm hard on him because I have, I have high expectations for him. And uh, all I told him, I don't want any surprises. I want to know night in and night out exactly what we're getting. And I thought he played a terrific game tonight. Rick, is it rare when you have to tell a player how high their ceiling is or how good they can be? No, no, I think it is. Do I think it's rare? No, I don't think it's rare because I think sometimes, and I'll be really honest with you, I have a hard time complimenting people because I think sometimes when when you when you compliment guys, when you compliment guys, I think they let up. I think you got to live on the edge there. I think you got to, you know. And as much as I want to, I hold back because I've been burnt. Uh, you know where I just don't. I just want more, I, and I keep telling them they got to want. They they got to want more. They've got to want to keep climbing. You can't. Do I think they can go straight up the pole? I don't. But can they keep climbing some way every day a little bit? Just that's that's what I want to see. And oftentimes when guys have success, it's just a human nature to let it go and think it's just going to happen. It's not going to just happen. I promise you. What Jonas did tonight. He made it happen. What Shaq did, they've made it happen. They've, they've trained hard. They've worked hard. But it's going to get harder in Starkville. I promise you that. It's going to be, it's going to be harder. And every week after that, it's going to get harder. Rick, kind of a big picture defensively. I mean, you obviously have a, a lot of guys that are back from the last couple of years where you ranked really high in scoring defense and field goal defense. How would you assess where you are right now, maybe compared to those? Are, you, are, are there some things you do better defensively, or are there some things you do not as well defensively? Well, uh, I told the guys tonight I, I, I didn't think for – and, again, I've got – as a coaching staff, we've got tremendous confidence in our guys uh, fixing things out there. Their preparation is – you know, they, they understand how big that can be for them. And, again, our coaches do a great job with the scouts. And, but, like tonight, uh, I kept telling them during timeout, you guys, we've got to adjust our defense. Uh, they're just isolating, putting their head down. We're letting them get down. We don't want to. We want. We want to try to get them into long possessions if we can. We had to lead. Let's not let them come down and score quickly. And I thought we stayed stretched out a little bit. I thought we were, again, probably concerned about giving up a three because uh, they started the game trying to hit us with that this hammer on the backside to skip it and take advantage of our help defense. And and, and you know what? It, it's that much. It's just that much space on the floor you got to cover. And. Uh, but overall, the older guys, uh, I, I, we, we know going forward that uh, we, we want Jordan Ganey to, to get there, and he's, and he's trying. Uh, Dalton, uh, is Dalton going to get to where these guys are in a year? Probably not, but he's, he is working at it, trying to get better. And uh, uh, our younger guys, there's no doubt that in the last, since Christmas, Freddie and uh, Cam and JP and Kate have improved defensively. And, uh, but when I showed them tape last night at practicing against each other, there's a difference, and they and they said it tonight. It's sustaining it, and that's where we got to get them to to help us. And they will. They'll get there. We'll get them there. But uh, again, uh, we've worked hard at trying to guard our own man. We've worked, you know, we schemes. We we try to figure out our. I thought our Jonas and Tobey tonight did as good a job with their defense, escorting their man out to the screen, where we were putting a, trying to put a hard hit on the ball up there. And that's not easy for those guys uh, to go down and back out. But if they don't do the work early at the rim, they come up and when you play against a team that's got the ability to get downhill on you, it's tough. But those guys, you can look at, that doesn't show up in, in this stuff, but that's where they did a great job tonight, really escorting their, the screener up to the screen. Rick, it's never really been easier for, for kids to want to transfer and go do something else. And 
obviously kids do that, but how hard is it to, how much harder is it than it used to be to get a kid like Meshack to maybe stay and embrace a role that is not as big as it could be at other places and, and be such an important member of the team? Well, I think it's a real compliment to his family and, and who he is. I mean, he, he's a fighter. You know, he always has been. And uh, they've never wanted him to have something he didn't earn. Uh, he came here with, uh, and he's learned a lot. And again, I think he's going to, if, if he will just continue to understand the game and, and truly understand what God has gifted him with an incredible ability to, to defend. And uh, he competes. I mean, and those are talents, hard work, competing, all that's talent. Uh, I mean, and a work ethic. I mean, that, that's a talent. It really is. And But you go back and you look at our team, and again, you guys have watched us practice. I mean, those older guys pretty much bring that every day. And, uh, but uh, I think it goes back to his family. They're not, they've never, they never asked for anything other than for him to have a chance and to get better and coach him hard and, and uh, help him improve. And, and he, he's doing it. Rick, how pleased were you with the 19 offensive rebounds tonight, turning into 22 second chance points? Especially Ole Miss only had those four offensive rebounds in the same category. Well, again, you know, we got a bunch of them there on that one. I think three or four there late in the game, uh, where we were just trying to again short, you know, get get it over with and and uh, work the end, finish the game the way it should be finished. And uh, but. Uh, uh, it goes back. I, I, it's important as a coach and staff, and we preach to our guys: take your shots and let's go rebound it. Let's go get it. Some nights you can't get inside to get it. But some of those long rebounds you can run down, and we ran down a few of them. Uh, obviously, and we need to do that. But I, I, tr I truly believe if you play defense, rebound the ball on both ends, whether you're making shots or not, and take care of the ball, don't give up turnovers for easy baskets, you're going to have a chance every night to be in the game. And then nights when you're shooting the ball well, those type things, you, you, you hope and expect to win the game. But, uh, like, I mean, early in the game, we had some great looks. Didn't go in. But, I, again, I said it from the beginning, I'm just glad those guys kept shooting them because uh, that's something that we've harped on and and uh, we're going to continue to want them to take those shots. We'll go Ben, Karthik, Caleb, Ryan, and that's it. Rick, what, what's key for Tobey when you go up against close players who are taller than him and, and have more length? And, and how have you seen seen him adjust and, and grow in that area? It's all about space, trying to carve out your space where you can get it and play quick off the ground. And uh, it, but again, it goes back to his his work. You know, uh, his hard work is paying off for him. Uh, there's no doubt he's getting better and better. And he, and he believe me, he hasn't even scratched the surface. I mean, what what the player? I thought defensively tonight. Again, he, he was great getting out there. Uh, the more we can get, again, we, you know, talking about our defense, you know, we switch sometimes uh, on the fly when some guy can't, we get bumped on the screen or something. And, uh, but Tobey, uh, like I just talked to him out there and he said, Coach, I've got to be better. And when you got that kind of attitude, that's, that's when you know you got something. And uh, uh, he said, I've got to play better. And, uh, is he, he's tough on himself. You know, he, he wants to get it right, perfect all the time, which is a, is a wonderful way to look at it. But, but again, that's what he said to me tonight. He said, I got to play better. And, and, uh, he, and he'll, he's going to keep getting better because of that. You know, uh, I mean, right now there's a lot of situations of the game going through my head, and and uh, but uh, you know they missed some shots now too. You know they it looks that I think that they would think that they ran good offense and had some looks at it and missed it. And we were coming out and when we, we when we can rebound it and get out and run, that's that's what we want to do. That's what we want to do, obviously. And and uh, but when we can do that, but it takes all five guys going going down there to get it, and it, and then. You know, you know, make a couple threes, and at that point, the end. I think we made a couple threes late in the first half, where we finally made a couple, and and and, and obviously the play that Shaq made. That's that's a big that's a big one. It goes from uh, what eight to, to eleven. That that's a big play, and uh, again, Josiah made that play. I mean, we had a play on. It didn't uh, materialize the way we wanted it to, but he he made the play work, 
and uh, then Shaq obviously knocked it down. Last one from Caleb and Ryan and Steve can read them all. <laughs> Was there something specifically coming into tonight's game that made you want to lean on the pick and roll game a little more? I don't. I don't know if I'd say there's something just tonight because you know we we worked on it all year. You know we we because we we defended every day. You know we have to because everybody is such a heavy thing, but we also. Uh, how many assists we have tonight? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. On how many shots? Thirty-two. Yeah. Thirty-two. Thirty-two. Yeah. But uh, you know we we like movement. We like cutting. You know, we like uh, a little bit of all of it. And uh, we don't, uh, you know, but just the fact we spend a lot of time on it and we're getting better with it ourselves. And, uh, but when we get moving and we, we've got an, an unselfish group of guys. The only thing I would tell you where guys might be selfish is, and I've told him this, is when he turn, they turn down wide open shots. We got to shoot it. And, and it's, you know, I want to score every time. And I'm, I sit there and talk to myself, when are we going to make a shot? But I know it's the right shot. You know, I know it's the right play. I, I, again, I don't have my glasses on, but what do we shoot from the three? What do we end up shooting percentage-wise? 11 of 37%. I mean, think about it. We started the game. I think we missed a bunch to start with. And, but, again, that probably pleases me as much as anything that we, we didn't put it away and we kept taking those shots. Thank you, Coach. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you.